Welcome to the Green Data Ventures Cookbooks, the video series where we share recipes for success. This video will explain cost price lists within Microsoft's project operations. Cost price lists are used as a way for your organization to keep track of what products and services cost, and they're important for many of the dynamics uh, functions in the sales and project area. Today, we're in the sales area, specifically under price lists under customers, and we will be creating a new list from here. So you're gonna click new, this will bring you to a new price list. If you want to name that something, we're just gonna name this list one for now. And it's important to change the context. So if you want to create a cost list versus a sales list versus a purchase list. So today we are creating a cost list, so we're gonna change that context. Then you can set start dates and end dates. This says for basically how, how long is this list good for and between what dates. Uh, then you can change the currency if needed, as well as the uh, time unit. So this is going to be how your roles, your resource roles uh, bill. So we're going to save that. Oh, as well as you can add a description for people in your organization um, to know what this list is, is about. So now that we've saved that, we can go into role prices and we can set the price for role. As you can see, there's nothing here yet because this is brand new. We can come over here, new role price, and add a role to this uh, price list. So we're going to look for a role. As you can see, when you click in here, it shows you uh, recent ones. You can also hit this uh, little icon and it will show you many more that are in your um, organization. We're gonna choose account manager today. And then you can also look for a resourcing unit. These are different divisions perhaps. So we're gonna choose, let's do global. And then you need to set a price, of course. So we're going to set a price at 100. That means when we click away, it's gonna show $100 based on that currency. And that's $100 per hour because of our unit. Next, we're gonna save and close. Although you can also save and create new if you're creating multiple at the same time. So that's going to show up as account manager, what we just entered in. Great, so now we have a role price in here. The next thing we wanna do is create a product price. So we're gonna to go to price list items and hit new price list item. This is gonna bring us to the page to create a new price list item, specifically product. So we're going to look for a product. I'm gonna search for arm, armband 100. And it's gonna show us the default unit which is basic package in this case, but if you wanted to, you can search for other units as well, such as extended package. Great, so now that we have the correct um, product and unit, we can look over here, currency, as well as discount list if there is any, and quantity selling option control. So it's basically, can you sell a fraction of this product? We can't, so we're gonna go over here. And now we're gonna set the pricing method. So this is currency amount. There's also lots of different others such as percent. Uh, we're gonna keep it at currency amount and set a currency amount of 150. So that's gonna be $150 based on our currency that we set. And we're gonna save that. Great, so we can save and close as well. And we'll go back to our main price list page. So as you can see now, we have a list one and we have a price list item, which is products, and we have role prices, which are resource roles, as well as our general. So let's save and close this whole thing. And we'll be able to see right here that our cost price list is now in active price lists.